let's simply cruise break England. My Duke, the infidels in Brabant declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite coalition as their CB. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video, where we're going to be continuing the releasables challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 that doesn't exist in 1444. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually not back with the nation of Girmion because boys, I can't get this run started, man. Please, I don't want this to turn into another below zero. I just can't get it started, man. I can't break free from the Ottomans. I can't get anyone to support my independence because the Ottomans grow too quickly and outgrow their rivals, so no one's eligible and no one likes me enough to support me so if any of you boys want to try and get a gear me on run off the ground and succeed at me on twitter at the red hawk yt and tell me how you did it so i can maybe use your strategy so in the meantime we're back with the wheel of nations and i have removed livonia and added latgalia sammy and Corellia, which means all the new releasables have been added so let's click the spin and spin once again and see which nation we're gonna play until i can get gear me on off the ground and the nation we're gonna play today is Cornwall? All right. I think this is going to be very, very interesting. All right. All right. Here we are back in game. And as you all know, Cornwall is a nation that can be released from England in just this one province right here. We do have a Cornish culture, which is a unique culture in itself. And uh, yeah, man, that's going to be our challenge for today. Play as Cornwall, make England not exist and become a great power. Bane. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And boys, consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 100k subs. And maybe with your support, we can do it. Let's jump in as England and then as Cornwall. All right, all right. Here we are as England. And as you all know, no nation ruining a boom just like that. We're going to release and play as Cornwall. We actually get two provinces, Cornwall and Devon. So that's wonderful. And boom, there we are. Now we are Cornwall. I have never actually played as this nation. Let's take a look at the national ideas. Oh, they are unique. All right, plus 10% production efficiency and minus 10% recruitment time not bad morale as a finisher will we even get there we got minus two national arrest i like that attrition for enemies i like that tolerance meh privateer efficiency and chance to capture enemy ships all right maybe we can be pirates land force limit i like that movement speed a very rare modifier and minus one percent prestige decay another rare one do we have unique missions of course we don't and what are we i guess we're on autocracy there we go all right let me wait for a month so i can do all the estate stuff and not actually get zero money and then maybe people will want to support our independence possible people that might support us are denmark scotland and burgundy no france though kind of sucks all right all right december 1st let's see right here has anything changed will anyone support us immediately new no. uh we might be able to get these four guys though so let me get started by doing estate stuff all right all right estate stuff done let's see if we have a diplo rep guy we do i did also get religious diplomats now will anyone support us still no all right uh uh, let's improve with Scotland and Burgundy first, I think, and then with Denmark and France. Yeah, we also got free merchants, so let's tell this one guy to collect here. And actually, I'm going to tell the other guy to go to Champagne and establish communities. Do we have professionalism? We don't, so uh, our army building is going to be pretty slow. Of course, we do have a five-year truce with England, so we kind of got time. Let's hope they don't add, like, Castile and Austria. And man, is it harder to get people to support you in this latest patch? I know I've been having trouble with Girmion, but I would have thought this would have been easier. Let's see what kind of ruler we actually spawned with, because I just got an error. 3-2-3, three, three. all right, not bad. And this guy's pretty good actually uh the surrender of main event happened and france actually chose a very rare option let's choose to back down and they didn't ask for maine from england why because they're at war with Brittany. all right we can get scotland now oh right war of the roses fired now burgundy supports me as well let's hope these guys keep supporting me for about a year more until we can ask them all right five years have passed burgundy already supports me uh i can't get scotland because they're fighting england because england invaded one of the irish guys and i'm trying to get denmark and france now okay i've also gotten denmark to support me and now i'm trying for Provence as well as France so uh I think with those four guys we should be good maybe Scotland too but they'll have a truce with England the biggest problem here is I'm gonna be all alone on Great Britain uh even though all of these guys will support me so I'm hoping that the Kelmar Union's Navy along with France can somehow beat England's Navy or I don't know what we're gonna do man I'm gonna go for a couple of more loans here and try and get at least one transport going so I can run away all right man I think we should try and go over it here I got France I got a boat uh, I don't think I can get Provence. I might be able to get Aragon, though. Nah, this is too much. Scotland, they got a truce, and they don't even like me anymore, I guess. So let's uh, let's go for nothing here, man. All right, let's give this independence war a shot. Independence, defend capital, Denmark, Burgundy, France. We are way more powerful than them. Uh, they do have... What the 
happen here, dog. <laughs> Either way, let's try and do this. Hopefully, my boys' navy is powerful enough. Pain. Okay, England's navy just lost to Burgundy and their boys' navy, so I think we can manage naval superiority here. I did manage to get two guys to run away, so uh, let's go ahead and siege a bit. Yeah, our navy is good. Our navy is good. Either way, tier two got reform time. Let's take strength and noble privileges. All right, I can't make Portugal end their alliance with England, but I can get war reps and money, even though I won't get most of this money, but eh, frick it. Now, the problem here is going to be to get my boys to land in England. I guess not. France is here. Alrighty, baby. Oh, no. Uh, oh, we got beaten up. Okay, there is progress in Ireland. All right, boys. I think we kind of have enough war score to get free here. And England is on low. I want to peace out before my allies dip. So what I'm going to do right here is, of course, demand independence just like that. And obviously, I can't take anything here because we don't have anything occupied. In fact, I'm occupied myself. So what I'm going to do is take this province right here. So hopefully, we can push into the Irish guys a bit until our truce with England is up. And uh, let's get war reps too. Yes, we can. That's great. No money and no other provinces because I don't want to reduce trust too much with my allies and that's our independence we're done all right we're an independent nation 20 dev baby you know what it is only about 300 more dev before our great power truce with england pretty long i think the best thing i did in this war is getting war reps from uh england and portugal <laughs> look at my economy it's booming and the unlucky thing that's happened in this run is england is actually still really really powerful they didn't fight france uh which means they still have their holdings right here and uh yeah well if only we had common sense all right, so I've built up my army a little bit, and let's go ahead and do our first war that's not with England, and let's hit Desmond right here. They don't have any allies. I've built up a claim, so let's do some expanding. In the meantime, I have been pushing not my capital up to 30 because it's a uh, coastline and stuff. So yeah, I uh, sped up the Renaissance over here a little bit. I'm so down on dip, dude, because I've been devving and I also reduced war exhaustion a million times. Meanwhile, England has allied Castile, which is not good at all. Ugh. I thought this could happen. France declared on Burgundy. Who do I want to keep more? France or Burgundy? Burgundy does have the navy, but realistically, boys, it's got to be France. Time to eat the Diplo rep penalty. Either way, our war with uh, Desmond here is done, so let's take these two provinces. And I'm actually going to be declaring on Ormond here right away. They're allied to, well, this guy who won't even join. So, uh, yeah, let's do our next war. And another quick and easy war. Let's take two more provinces. Just took the mission Expand Core Wall. These are the missions that we've done by now. No unique ones, like I said. And uh, let's core that up. Finally, Renaissance. And I'm knowledge sharing with France too. Sweet, sweet income. All right, first idea group time. I see four possible openers here. Honestly, we could go quantity to inflate our army size, quality for army and boat stuff as well. But we could also go with naval and maritime to rival England's navy. They have built it back up. Let's see France's. France isn't bad. What about Denmark? Uh, I don't think I'll need a navy right now. So let's go with uh, let's go with quantity. Why not? Brains took out a huge chunk out of Burgundy, wow. Oh, I wish we could launch the war now, man. Castile wouldn't join. I just need to wait for a few more months until France's war exhaustion goes down. Okay, now's the time to strike, I guess. Let's call in Denmark. Ah, oh, Castile would join like that. What about if I don't call in France, launch the war, and then call them in? We'll see what happens, I guess. Let's just declare for door set, I guess. And, uh, yeah. Okay, now I call in France and Castile still isn't in it. Oh, they're not even allied to England anymore. Awesome awesome uh this is not awesome though um help yeah i didn't really think this through uh it's hijaz all over again denmark's navy is still easily crushing england's though so we're good they didn't full occupy me in ireland so i got the free company up <laughs> i got an event uh where the pope dislikes me or i get nobles and i spawn them here right on their army dude <laughs> Nice. Burgundy went with the Palatinate. Could have been me. All right, Denmark dip. They got pretenders. Understandable. I love France. I love France so much. Meanwhile, it's tier three gov reform time. Let's go with uh, expanded royal court. All right, man. England's pretty much 100% it. And I feel like now we can really get the game started. So let's go ahead and do this right here. Can I take all of Ireland? Yes, I can. I literally don't care about AE or anything like that. Oh, uh, wait, something here is occupied by France. Let's go ahead and take Sus Sax and Oxford and Leicester or something like that. And this right here too. And that right there too. Awesome. This is our first conquest war with England. Done. Yes. 
hour. Of course, none of my boys will be mad because I called them in with favors, and by none of my boys, I mean France, because uh, Denmark dipped. Now, they had pretenders. How do they keep uh, Sweden and Norway? I guess that's only valid, actually, if Sweden and Norway get pretenders. All right, well, I guess the devs taught Denmark to do what the human does. But yeah, now I need to core all this up with no dip points to reduce war exhaustion. <laughs> Oh, uh, why do I play this game? Because it's the best game of all time. That's why. Good thing I made England break their alliance with Castile. Uh, or actually, I didn't. They just didn't come in uh, to help them. So now they're rivaled, which is good. Uh, they could ally Austria now, though. But I think that'll be easier since France can still beat them up. Huh. Denmark, me and Brandenburg versus Norway and Sweden. Eh. Okay, and to stop all the confusion about, you know, when we're a great power based on institutions, based on dev, based on uh, this right here, uh, new rule, we gotta be a great power, at least a number seven great power, and the guy below us also has to have an institution embraced. So that's how I feel like it could be the most legit. I don't know. Or maybe we should just go for like 400 dev and, you know, when we're at 400 dev, then the run is over. I don't know. All right, well, the war is over. What happened? Uh, all right. These guys are now independent. Is it worth keeping Denmark around now? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I should curry favors with France to make them end their alliance with Scotland so we can fight Scotland as well. We're at 29 right now. Not bad. We do have the wooden wall, so why not go for it? All right, so my truce with England is up, and I feel like we gotta declare on them here before France gets any good ideas themselves. The problem is they're still so strong, man. Wait, wait, no, they're not. Dude, I checked a few months ago, they had 35,000 troops, man. That's why I moved my army here so I could, you know, try and catch them landing, but what happened? Either way, that's great for me. Uh, let's go ahead and declare on England for the conquest of London and call in France. Portugal got allied to them again. This is not a big deal. Uh, ah, I wish I kept my troops back here, man, but whatever. Let's just, let's just go for it, huh? I do have two cannons now. Yeah, they just scaled up like crazy. They're at 25k now. Uh, I feel like I gotta go way overboard here, man, and get the grand company, honestly. It's also our second idea group time. Let's go for something like, uh, maritime. Or maybe England's navy will be too weak after this to... Nah, let's stick with maritime. I went to have a lunch and I forgot what was happening in this war. <laughs> we could actually call in Denmark now, so let's do that. Well, I guess I died again. How many times have I been beaten up, dog? I just went bankrupt. I just went bankrupt. Blessed be France that saves the day once again, dog. Oh my god, man. I don't even know how I went bankrupt, honestly. <laughs> There's a running theme here with this war exhaustion in releasables, I swear. Please, let me just pop out a huge vassal just once. The problem is always that these guys, like, don't land immediately. And of course, that would be expected because they went for, like, East Frisia first, right? It's it's connected via land to their capital in Portugal as well. I already knocked those guys out, but I just wish um, there was a way to tell them, you know, hey, come naval invade England first because otherwise I'm gonna get wiped out and uh, full sieged. And apparently I'm gonna go uh, bankrupt as well. You know, I started this series to be more relaxing than A to Z, but so far, man, it's been anything but. I'm making great money though. Look at that. And it's time for a tier four gov reform. Uh, let's maintain the balance of power. And by the way, I'm not piecing out because I want all these guys to pop out and friends to beat them up. All right, all rebels have popped out. So let me go ahead and take this right here and uh, then this right there and uh, this too, why not? And that's our third war with England, done. All right, bankruptcy should have expired by now. Let's see right here, yeah. And we're a lot richer now too. I feel like uh, after this point, I should never get sieged down again wait no this wasn't the plan okay this is not bad at all now since i have been coalition here obviously expanding into scotland even if i make france break their alliance with them is not an option so the only thing we can really do right here is uh wait for our truce with england to expire in about uh 15 years and then immediately declare on them before they can join the coalition of course if the coalition still exists which it might not even exist so yeah Let's just chill for a bit. Our dev is 285 right now, which is really, really strong. And uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to have issues getting up on the great powers list. We might not even have to full annex England. Or wait, no, we will, because that's our secondary goal, right? Do they have exploration expansion? Oh, they have taken exploration, huh? I might need to steal some colonies too, I guess. My duke, the infidels in Brabant declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite coalition as their CB. 
Well, we haven't had one of these in a while, and we've actually never had one in uh, releasables. Just as I'm building up my army. Man, if I had a navy would be set here, they wouldn't be able to invade, but this might be painful. Actually, France and Denmark uh, refused the call to arms in this uh, coalition here. Hmm. Can I build a navy fast enough? Man, look at this. this is such a tiny coalition. If only I had boats. I think I can uh, build boats here. Uh, Scotland stopped me from building them here. Now, what I gotta do here is actually roll a bunch of generals for a professionalism. I don't think I'm gonna get that much. Uh, let's see right here. Yeah, that's not a lot at all. At least we got this six fire guy, which is pretty good. Uh, let me fire the rest of these guys. I got him beat on battles, man. Uh, I just need to unoccupy this and siege down Scotland, and I think we can dip, honestly. Easy. Very easy, in fact. I've ticked all the way up to 85. I did half ticking. All of these guys suck. What are you gonna do now, huh? Huh, Brabant? Did you really think this was a good idea, man? It wasn't. And let me tell you why. Because, uh, well, Scotland is mine. By coalition, idiots. Uh, but yeah, I did suffer quite a lot through that, boys. Uh, more rebels are about to pop up. I've been reducing war exhaustion like crazy. I feel like that's the only thing I've been using my dip points for. Let's core this up right here. We can take a mission as well. Build buildings. I guess we did build buildings. And uh, yeah, let's try and stabilize as much as we can because our truce with England is going to be up in six years. And just as I predicted, they did ally Austria, which is uh, not that goog. Can I re-ally France, though? Of course I can. You know what? I forgive you boys for dishonoring that call to arms. And can I ally someone else? Well, Denmark too, I guess, if I improve. And I'm gonna try and spawn colonialism in Leicester. Horrible, horrible rebel problems, man. So much rebel problems. You know, maybe I should accept English and Irish, huh? <laughs> Sold titles and seized land, let's embrace colonialism. And with that, we have become a great power. I think a legit one, or maybe not. Yeah, we're pretty close to becoming a legit one. But either way, even if we are a great power, our run continues because England, well, they still exist. And they exist by quite a lot. <laughs> Alright, well, the truce with England has been up for quite some time. Now I've just been dealing with so much rebels, and I finally have a little bit of manpower to declare on these fools once again. So let's go ahead and declare for Darby right here. I will call on France with the promise of land. I will give them this stuff down here, and uh, they should be able to deal with Austria and Portugal. Or wait, no. How many troops do these guys have? 50k? What about Austria? Oh, they got Hungary too? What about Portugal? Huh. Well, you know, let's give it a shot. And it's not going to be a problem even if France can't beat these guys because uh, I'm too powerful to be naval invaded and I'll be even more powerful soon. Now that we've dealt with the situation in Great Britain, let's go down to the continent and help our boys just as they once helped us. Man, I attached my army to France's army and France is just going to town on these boys. I guess I'll white piece Portugal. And there's Austria out too. Alright, now that we've crushed England and it's only them left, I am actually gonna give uh, all of this back to France just like that. What about this? It hasn't been occupied, huh? Man, that's a lot of war score. And I'm gonna take Darby for myself, this too, this too, and then some stuff. Well, France can get this later, I guess. Well, I did call them in with the promise of land, right? So they're gonna be sad. Yeah, let's give them that, and then that, and then this. How much trust are they gonna lose? Alright, not bad at all. Uh, yeah, there we go. Shrunk England a bit more. I'm actually gonna pop out, uh, Wales and, uh, Northumberland now. Yeah. I shouldn't have popped out Wales. <laughs> let's take meritocratic recruitment. Third idea group time. Do we... Yeah, let's go with quality. That's a nice admiral. I like that. Uh, hello. I got another admiral. Ah, choose what England is up. Please, France join. Oh, not only will France join, but my other boys, Denmark and Genoa, would also join. They still have the same allies. Let's declare a reconquest for York. England has two colonies that I can see. I am the terror of the seas. And my war with England is done. What I'm gonna take is everything here and give this one province to France, and I actually can't take their colonies, so, uh... Yeah, maybe next time. And boys, our truce with England is gonna be up in like 15 years, man. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, for the interest of time, let's simply truce break England. Ah, no one even cares. And just like that, this war is pretty much done. Now, what I'm gonna do here is take Calais for myself and give these two back to France, but the problem is I can't take this one province over in uh, Canada, and I can't take this one province over in Africa because they're too far away. Now, obviously, by waiting around, I could get to colonial range through tech, or I could abandon one of my idea groups to get, like, exploration or something like that, so I can then get to range to get the provinces, but for the interest of time, let's just say that we've basically 
full annex to England because we basically can full annex to England if we just wait around or get an idea group. So to not drag this video out any longer, I am going to declare that we have become a great power, not modified by tech, and that we have basically full annexed our former overlord of England. But yeah, there you go, man. We start off as the nation of Cornwall down in these two provinces right here and a horrible, horrible start. We haven't really had an easy start in releasables, boys, for a few videos now. You know, the HRE guys were pretty easy and the Italian guys because our overlords were like our size. But uh, these past few episodes, man, we've been popping out small guys and getting free has been a chore getting sieged down getting occupied getting beaten so many times especially this run and i think if i'd played cornwall in the previous patch where the ai doesn't want to naval invade there's no way we could have broken free from england man but thanks to denmark and france in the early wars we were able to beat england and then we grew very powerful ourselves and we were able to crush them with all our might economy looking good baby army looking great cool idea groups i'm actually starting to like maritime and naval unironically please someone help and uh yeah that's where our game has ended up it's taken a bit longer than the other releasables episodes but we had to deal with england because they were so big and even though they still have two provinces you boys know that i just have to wait around to get them so that's why i'm gonna say that this is a success and yeah man this game pretty much had it all from bankruptcies to coalitions to no cb trues breaks and uh it felt like a classic a to z episode even though it was a releasables and i hope you boys enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed playing so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Cornwall in releasables has been a success. And that has been Cornwall in releasables. Now let's spin the wheel and see which nation we're gonna play next time if I still can't get Germion off the ground. And here we are back in the wheel of releasable nations and let's click the spin and see which nation we're gonna be playing next time. Please let it be something easy, man. Just give me like Kazakh or something like that. I wanna pop out a big vassal and what the heck is Ode? Let me know in the comments below what I should do with Ode next time, a nation that's apparently in India. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video